in this video we will cover if error so first we'll go to settings upcoming feature experimental formula level error management we'll turn this on then on the button click we'll put if error 1 divided by 1 notify error step 1 comma then we'll take this two by two error step two if there is any error so at the moment there should be no error message so neither the first one either step first or two neither one of them will give error let's say if we change this to zero one divided by zero is error Let's run this error in step one. So now we we correct this one. So there is error in step one. So we'll fix step one. Let's go to step two. Now we run this. error in step 2 step 1 is fine now now note if there is error here it will not execute the second step but if you want both of them to work so we'll have to do a two times if error 1 by 0 we remove this if error 2 divided by 0 notified now both of them will run in the previous one if first step has error it would not execute step 2 <laughs> error step 2 Okay. So now we will consider the uh, another case of getting the values from the text boxes. So let's run this. Uh, so remember it's taking the last one we remove this so it's still executing the whatever is in the last now we will consider checking the data from the the two text boxes so it's the same thing we are doing a patch our same list you know uh, so we will display error 
or success depending on the score being less than 100 uh, more than 100 or so ALVM I score 200 it should give error okay then I say um, John he scored 99 will be success so this is more details of the if error code so it's a patch if there is error in this patch notify error if there is no error then it will notify success 